all right, hypershade, and then in hypershade you, you, you make a volumetric, particle-particle uh, cloud, sorry. Yes, particle cloud. Yeah. It's it's uh, you choose here. This you can you can tweak this one. Or you can you can make your own because uh, this this is by default. Well, okay, you make your own. Give it a name. Right here. And then uh, tweak a color. Make a, make it incandescent so it it's it's more visible. Give it like yellow bright incandescence. Also, you can you can. Uh, uh, Like right here, you have in uh, HSV instead of RGB, and you can you can give value more than for for the value of uh, like saturation and value. You can give it more than one, so it, it will glow more. If you can see, oh, you know. Directionally, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Create. Okay, that's it. Move it up a bit. Just move that because we're gonna we want to animate that. Okay. Now run it. See where it goes. Very slow. Give it give it more speed. Select the meter. Yeah. Okay. Go down speed. You see, it's very low. One just one. So give it like twenty. See how it goes. Rewind, just rewind. Make it smaller. It's too big. Uh, what is that? Sorry. Uh, minus. Okay. Minus plus. You can manipulate the handle. All right. Everybody has the the, the directional meter. Stop. Just stop the simulation. Stop. Uh, uh, rewind. Select. select uh, no, select it and double. Click double. Always rewind through the. Yeah. Now. Uh, uh -huh. So you can't see it while you turn it. Uh, because you probably have a. They click on the W and they will see where, where, which way the point points. Ah. And then you go uh, double click on your, and then here the object, move axis. Now you, it will align the, uh, to the object, all right? In order to, better, to see it better, let's just uh, parent it to some since we don't don't see the axis, well, actually, uh, if you put if you click on the on that icon, the manipulator, this icon, then you see the direction, and you can increase the rate or decrease the rate as well. Or uh, if you click on this icon, yeah, that's a, that's the direction, that's the spread, speed, distance. So right here. <coughs> so you see, you can manipulate direct direction from here. All right. Start collision. Everybody has a plane. Plane done. So we select particle. And we select the plane. And a cube. Particle make collide. Let's see what's going on. Doesn't work. Okay. Let's select the plane. Probably we've selected too many objects. Okay, this and then particle. Plane particle select. Go to particles make collide.
Ah, uh, collision. Uh, now our plane has a thing called geo, geo connector. That's where we control. There's a tessellation factor, which is uh, like resolution. If some particles go through, we crank that factor up. The tessellation, no, no need for now. Resilience is a bouncing. So if you don't want it, them to bounce, see? You put it on zero or a bit more. It's like reflection. You have friction. Do you see that? Ah, you don't see the particles, right? Sorry. So you see, re resilience is a, is a is a bounciness kind of. All right, and let's let's do some animation on that. Let's make it. <clears throat> Aim around, go around. So you can uh, hold the manipulate manipulator handle, and then and then click on that icon, and it will show you the speed. And we go to we need direction. Don't forget to uh, select the auto keys. It should be red. So make a first key on the, on the first frame, make one key, and then go around like frame 100, and then tweak the direction. OK, select this, and then go around, and then, oh, why? Ah, it doesn't do auto key, OK. Oh, sorry. So instead of instead of selecting in the, in the channel box right here, we can put it on on zeros, and then break connections. And then right now, okay, it's up. Right now we select, we use the handle, and we go to uh, direction. It would be it just would be easy to animate. So instead, we go to channel editor or attribute editor, and then we check our. The meter direction. We select those three channels. So in channel box, we select the meter, and in channel box, we have directions here, right here. So we can go and, and, and animate through that. So we select, we make a first key here. Right. I don't know, it should be on zero. All right. So we click key selected, and then from now on, we select that. We go to manipulator handle. And click. You see direction. So if you move it, it will be it will be keyed automatically. So we can. And then we go to frame 150, and we go to frame 300, and we go to frame 400. We do the same with, uh, with the second particle. We have particle one, particle two. Particle one, let's call it trace bullets. Tracers, let's make it tracers. And then what did I do? Is that event? Oh, sorry. OK, particle, just to name it here. Tracers, and then this one we'll call sparks, so we don't mix them. So the sparks, uh, I mean, you can go to, you can apply the same shader, and make them like make them the same kind of thing. Uh, we'll make them uh, tube as well, current type, radius. Make table size maybe shorter a bit, since it's just sparks, only sparks. And tail size. Mm. 
All right, and then hyper shade, apply the same shader. Or we can make a, let's just duplicate this one. Duplicate shade network and then call it, uh, call it sparks, spark shader. And then make it a bit redder since it's, it's not as hot, or maybe I don't know. Incandescence, let go towards orange. So have a little difference. Okay. Ah, I didn't, I didn't apply the shader. And then apply uh, a sign shader. Okay, there you go. We got sparks all over. Okay, is it metal or metal? Let's see. If you you know how to do like if your mental ray or some somehow doesn't doesn't show up, you go to Maya two MR bundle, click load and then and then close and it will load. I mean this is this can be rendered in software as well. Let's see. Both both work. Maya software Maya mental ray. So okay, let's use software ray probably going to be faster and. Uh, Let's put now a camera nicely somewhere. Okay, and render like 150 frames. Set it up. Uh, scene name, yeah. 150 frames, my IFF. It's the, I found it best way, uh, Maya reads only four digits, I think, or five di four digits, and when you render, set it up on name, number extension. Because if you want to load it into an uh, image sequence, Maya will give you trouble if you do it otherwise. So name, just, just keep it as standard. Name, number extension. So, and then frame padding, we'll make three. So we have 001 to 0110. And then here we can do you know, uh, right click on the file name and we say scene. So we'll just name it as the scene. And then 150 frames. It's going to be okay. And perspective. Good. Let's see what happens. Render. Let's click uh, batch render. Yeah, it goes fast. And we open it with uh, F check. Oh, to desk. Yeah, looking for it. Yeah, here we go. My 2011. F check. Always open with F check. Good. All right. And now let's load the animation. Open sequence. They're not very visible and they fly too fast, so we'll fix it 